Motherhood is a blessing from the heavens. It is indeed a miracle to be able to bring a life into the world. But this miracle can become a burden when a girl gets pregnant at an early age. How can a young girl take responsibility for life when she is not ready to take care of herself first? Unwanted children and early age pregnancies are critical social issues. Hello viewers and welcome to our channel Wonders Discoveries. Hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any video. Let's back to video. Educational institutions and health and social development departments make different policies to tackle this prevailing situation. Even developed countries like the USA, UK, Australia, and New Zealand cannot control the issue of adolescent pregnancies. The child welfare departments worldwide do their best to provide support to young mothers and their children. They ensure the mother and her child receive their fundamental rights. In most cases, adoption and foster care are the last resort for these young mothers. The situation for adolescent parents is so dire that most of them end up leaving their houses as their families disown them. Government policymakers worldwide are continuously formulating strategies to prevent adolescent pregnancies. Strategies for teen pregnancy prevention introduce community programs that spread awareness on sex education, contraceptive usage, and birth control precautions. These strategies have been successful and have caused a significant decline in teen pregnancies in the USA. However, the solution is still unfound, and cases of teen pregnancies are a regular occurrence. A child's birth is good news, but not when it happens, unplanned, and at a young age. You would be surprised to learn how old is the world's youngest mother. She was only five and six months old. Now a child this little is not accountable for irresponsibility or wild behavior. Unfortunately, the youngest mothers in history were victims of abuse and rape. This is the brutality of the human race that a child this young is not safe. In contrast, we see the world is evolving, and everything around seems digitalized and improved, yet such cruel child rape incidences take us back to ancient times. Let us walk down memory lane to visit the lives of the world's youngest mothers and also meet the youngest mothers in the world. 5. Lena Medina Lena Medina, born on 23 September 1933, is the youngest mother and youngest person to give birth in the medical history. She belongs to a remote village in Peru called Tecrapo, Castro Viriana. Lena got pregnant when she was five years and six months old. Her parents took her to the hospital to have doctors look into what they thought was a tumor in her abdomen. It turned out Lena was seven months pregnant and to date Lena Medina is the youngest mother ever. Now anyone reading this would think how it is possible when a girl only gets pregnant after menstruation. Unlucky and sadly for Lena, not only was she raped, but also she had a medical condition called precocious puberty. Under precocious puberty, a girl enters into abnormal hormone activation as a child. Many people were very interested in this case. A newspaper in Texas called the San Antonio Light reported on July 16, 1939, that a group of doctors and midwives from Peru wanted a young girl named Lena to go to a national hospital for pregnant women. They also said that an American movie company offered $5,000 to film Lena and her baby, but Lena's family said no to this offer. The newspaper also mentioned that Lena's doctor, named Lozada, had made some movies of Lena to show to other doctors in Peru. Some of these movies got lost in a river, but there were still some left. Six weeks after doctors found out that Lena was pregnant, on May 14, 1939, she had a baby boy through surgery because her body was too small for a normal birth. She was only five years, seven months, and 21 days old, which made her the youngest person ever to have a baby. The surgery was done by Dr. Lozada and Dr. Busalu, with another doctor, Dr. Colorada, giving her medicine to sleep during the surgery. The doctors found that Lena had fully developed sexual organs, which was very unusual for someone her age. When Lena's baby was born, he weighed 2.7 kilograms, about 6 pounds, and was named Gerardo after the doctor. At first, he was raised as Lena's brother, but when he turned 10 years old, he found out that Lena was actually his mother. Gerardo grew up healthy, but he sadly passed away in 1979 when he was 40 years old because of a disease in his bone marrow. 4. Yelizaveta Pantueva 
Another six-year-old child who belonged to the Soviet Union Ukrainian SSR is known as one of the youngest mothers on the record. She was a victim of rape by her own grandfather. This grave and cruel incident is proof of male injustice in the world. When the only thing that could worry a child at this tender age is toys and milk, girls like Yelizaveta survive the darkness of an abyss. Yelizaveta had turned six years old a few days before giving birth to her child a boy. Her parents did not want the doctors to perform caesarean sections. This incident happened on 19 August 1934. At that time, people considered caesarean sections as a direct threat to life. Upon Elizaveta's family's insistence, the obstetricians performed an alternative surgical procedure using forceps and retractors to deliver the baby. The surgery went well for Elizaveta, but the child couldn't survive and died in the procedure. The stillborn child was a girl. The doctors reported that her baby was of good constitution and health. Elizaveta's child would have survived if her parents had let the doctors perform the caesarean section, as per the doctors. It is also on the records that soon after Elizaveta's recovery, the family immigrated to Vladivostok. Even more alarming fact is that Elizaveta's parents never punished her grandfather and even took him along to Vladivostok. 3. Hilda Trujillo Another tragic case of rape and family abuse from Peru happened on December 2, 1957. This time the culprit was her uncle, and the girl was the one the youngest pregnancy in the world. She was only eight years and seven months old. It does not matter how many times we express our sadness over abusive male behavior, every victim's pain is unimaginable. Haida Trujillo was a victim of rape by her 22 years old cousin, whose name is undisclosed. The Time magazine published a feature on Hilda, and many other famous media channels gave immense coverage to this case. The media sources reported Hilda's age to be nine years, although it was later confirmed eight and a half years. The news features detailed that the criminal was living with her family in their one-room residence. The police arrested the man, but his jail sentence remained unknown to the public. Hilda gave birth to a baby girl of over six pounds weight. Hilda named her Maria, Del Rosario. 2. Leila Murphy When Leila was only eight years old, her family pushed her to become a prostitute. She got pregnant and had her first child when she was nine. Five years later, when she was 14, she had twins. She was put in jail, and each time she gave birth, she got 100 lashes. Leela was raped many times, and she was also sold twice as a sire or temporary bride to older men. When she was first sold to an Afghan guy, she was only 12 years old. When the sire ran out, she was sold again. This time, she went to a 55-year-old married man with two kids. He pushed her to become a prostitute, and every night he had up to 15 clients at his house. She was arrested when she was 17, and when she was 18, she was put to death for running a brothel, acts contrary to chastity, prostitution, incest, and giving birth to an illegitimate child. Several tests showed that her mind was like that of an 8-year-old. Amiri Mokadam got Affenposen to write about Leela's story. Every day, Per A. Christensen of the Afton Poston wrote a story about Leela's case. After a week, Norway's then Prime Minister Chel Magna Bondevic wrote a personal letter to the then President of Iran, Mohammad Khatami, asking that Leela's death sentence be overturned. The pressure from around the world caused Leela's death sentence to be put off, and after she got 99 lashes, she was freed. 1. Sally Dewey's Another case from the US happened on April 20, 1834. The victim is among the youngest mothers in the US. Sally Dewey's was a resident of Butler County, Kentucky. Dr. D. Rowlett handled Sally's delivery case. She gave birth to a healthy baby boy of 7.75 pounds. The hospital records show that Sally had fully grown breasts within a few weeks of her birth. She began menstruating at 12 months. We still don't know if Sally was a rape victim or not is not. Conclusion Life is not fair, and it is unjust to the most innocent. Unfortunately, girls all around the world are under constant threat of sexual abuse. What can anyone do when the guardians and caretakers are not trustable? While we see mistakes of teens who, because of their irresponsibility, get into the trap of the foster care and adoption system. On the other hand, cases like Leila Muffy are proof of society's brutality on blameless souls.
Despite widespread awareness and prevalence of education in modern times, authorities couldn't extract the deep roots of the ancient problems. To stay up to date with all our latest videos, make sure to click the bell icon after subscribing. That way, you'll be the first to know when we release new content.